I think it's 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 nice to care and it's nice to give back. And um, I've you know I've really found that giving back is one of the wonderful things about life because. I mean, it's all very well making money, but you know, you, you need to do. It's nice to be able to give back and, and 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 contribute to the community, which is a beautiful community, and it's it's very precious and it's very fragile because uh, we, we we don't have that many people here, but we have an awful lot of tourists. That uh, so it's it's quite a complex business, but it's it's lovely to give back. It really is. Were you surprised at how many people voted for their favourite charities? Oh, no, I, I thought it was really good. Well, it's a very touching cause, and she was a very beautiful girl, and um, very sad. So, uh, no, it was it was um, it was very much um, uh, overrided rode everything else, which is great. Mm. You mentioned before how we've got so many tourists. I mean, it's such a beautiful part of the world. Do you think we're getting the balance right? Are you happy with the way Queenstown's heading? No, I don't think so. I don't think we've got the balance right at all. I, I think it's got out of control, really. And um, I think affordable houses was the start of it sort of going haywire, really. And now, of course, they're all realising that, uh, goodness me, this is, a, this is not such a good call. Um, the, the, the locals really can't support all this infrastructure. And of course, the government really gives very little back. Um, so it is basically just, you know, on, on the rate payer, which is quite absurd, really. So we either have a very poor substandards of everything or otherwise we have to curb this, this, this massive dose of tourism. I mean, a lot of these tourists here, they, you know, they just come here in the droves. They probably may buy an ice cream or, 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 and, and make their own lunch somewhere, but that's about all they do, really. And uh, I, I, I don't really feel as that's the sort of tourist that we should have here. Um, the tourist that, um, that is well healed would be better because they will spend a considerable amount. Like take golfers. Golfers, you know, uh, uh, do um, spend quite a lot and they give back. So I think we need, we need to make sure that the type of tourist comes here is, uh, is um, yeah, of, of that calibre. But in saying that, you can't, you can't do that. So I suppose, I dare say, we've just got to uh, say stop. Where's enough? <laughs> Mind you, Switzerland sort of gets it right. Um, you know, you go to Switzerland, it's not cheap, but it's not elite either. And it's very genuine, you know, you go to Switzerland for a Swiss experience. Is that the sort of positioning you think might work, work here? I think some countries have certainly got it right. I think Aspen also has it right. And they have like their, their music school, which is good because I'm a, a violinist and I have my violin competition here. And uh, um, you know, there's even a, a thing, do we ever get another hall here when they pull this one down? I mean, this is a, it was a huge threat um, for, for my competition anyhow, because we couldn't have it here. But um, I think we do need that balance of the arts, um, and because all, all great, great cities, big as small, have a, have a basis of, of always have that cultural background as well, uh, which I think would really make this place very special. Um, now on the other hand, you can look at Capri, where I've been, I had my boat over there uh, and went to Capri and I thought, this is beautiful. It's the most beautiful place there is. It's equally as beautiful as here, but my goodness, that's ruined. It's totally trashed and ruined. It's a, never seen so many people climbing and falling. It was just hopeless, really. And, this, this is a tourism that's just got completely out of control and it's not really on most people's lists anymore. I think the community would agree with you that over-tourism is a, is a really big issue. Are you optimistic that we can work together as a community and solve the problem or is it too late? I think late? we have a, a far um, a, a wiser council at the moment and I think Jim Bolt as a mayor I think is, is very good and I think he, he, he will see that and I'm sure he is very conscious of that. Um, yeah, but really, it's the, the government really needs to, um, to to put some money. And I mean, they take um, how many? I don't know what they take in GST here, but it would probably be a, a, a monumental amount. And what do they give back? Probably a very, very small bit of it. So that's all getting used somewhere else rather than being putting back. So if we could plough all that back into the community, I think that would that would solve all the problems very quickly. And today you're going to be playing golf for Kate's fund? We are going to be playing golf, and I'm, I'm playing golf. I mean, I've, I've been quite busy, and uh, I'm not a great golfer, but I'm really looking forward to it. The day's perfect. The golf course is in beautiful condition. The greens are particularly fast. They're incredibly fast, actually. In fact, I don't think I've experienced faster greens except at Augusta. So you only just tap the ball, and it'll go about 20 feet. So it'll be, there'll be some surprise putting today, I think. <laughs> And what happens if a non-member team wins? Will you feel that's 
a slight to the club? <laughs> Not at all. No, 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 no. It, it's uh, this, this is this is um, anyone who's uh, chose to be here. We're we're proud to have them here and to support them. <laughs>